Cities around the world are working to become more sustainable. Among other stakeholders, citizens are involved in the co-creation of sustainable transitions in the socio-technical systems of the urban fabric of cities. This involvement can take on many forms. Meet Sam, for example. Sam lives in Hanoi and he's pondering whether to go to the local fresh market for his fish and the urban garden for vegetables. Or to the new supermarket. The fresh market usually has good deals and is only a few minutes away, but supermarket food will certainly not cause that fierce stomach ache again that troubled him last week. Should I take the risk? Down the road in Amsterdam, we come across another Sam. She is getting tomatoes from her roof garden and potatoes from local farmers. More natural, sustainable, local, organic, better. In the supermarket, you don't know what you actually buy, she says. These two Sams are involved in the food systems as social technical systems that are characteristic of their cities. Social technical systems can be defined as combinations of human actions and technologies. Both Sams are just living their normal life, considering whether to follow their daily routines or not. In doing so, they co-create socio-technical systems in the urban fabric. We see co-creation as all forms of engagement of citizens and other stakeholders with sustainable transitions in their cities. And what we call the urban fabric is the complex of all socio-technical systems that together organize urban life. The food system is just one example of a socio-technical system. Let's visit Beijing, Sam. As part of a group of active citizens, she is uploading data from air quality measurements to inform other citizens whether to wear their face masks today. With this data, she also makes visible to the city council that Beijing citizens are concerned and demanding action. In the meantime, Amsterdam Sam is enjoying the clean morning air. Until some moped speeds by that makes her reflect on the air she breathes. She trusts the city council keeps track of air quality in her city, but after reading about air pollution in her own street, she signed up for the new Citizen Urban Air Q Fab Lab that's organized next week in Amsterdam. These two Citizen Sams are involved in co-creating air quality politics in their cities in rather active ways. They deploy or intend to start deploying activities directed at a transition towards a blue sky city that lasts. Let's turn to Aunt Sam in Kampala. She just returned from a focus group organized by an NGO in which the people of her informal settlement were given the choice between plastic pee-poo bags or the installation of new improved pit latrines, financed with foreign aid. The atmosphere in the meeting was heated. Why is it not possible to have a proper sanitation system developed in the area? People bags should be dismissed as end-of-pipe solutions. So was her judgment in concert with her fellow citizens. At the same time, Amsterdam Sam is just leaving the hospital after CT scan treatment with chemicals, holding in her arms some pee bags for an experiment to prevent contamination of the drinking water system in Amsterdam. Should I put these in the garbage or in the mail, she wonders. The actions and considerations of the last two Sams can be discussed as forms of co-creation as follows. They are using a similar thing, the people bag, for a different purpose. This can be explained by the differences that exist between the sanitation system in Kampala and in Amsterdam. A similar form of co-creation can have a different meaning depending on the context. Looking back at this picture, we see three clusters of socio-technical systems. Food, air quality, and human waste and sanitation are all part of the urban fabric. Citizens like Sam are co-creating sustainability transitions in the urban fabrics around the world. They do so in ways that are tied up with the local, 
socio-technical and political contexts of their cities. It is time to get to know our SAMs a bit better and see how they are involved in the co-creation of sustainable cities.